Uh, I want to share uh, with you um, how Jesus, Lord Jesus, changed my life. And I was just informed me when I was 14 years old, uh, I saw a dream in the night. I saw a person with a very bright face and bright uh, his hair, golden hair, golden beard. I saw it in a dream and with very smiled face. When I saw him, I just promised with him, like, okay, I'll do all my life good things and I'll pray. And the, 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 the person, he smiled and my dream was uh, finished and I wake up that time. And uh, the time when I saw the dream, I saw the light in my home. Uh, the, like the night times changed into day. It's very shiny. And uh, when I met, my dream was over, next day I asked my grandmother, she already passed away now, I asked my grandmother that I saw uh, a person like this in my dream. So because I was a Muslim, I thought in first like I saw maybe Prophet Muhammad. And then uh, my grandmother asked how the appearance of the person when I mentioned. So she said, no, he's uh, not Prophet Muhammad, he's another uh, good, uh, any good other person. So, but since then I noticed, uh, like in my character was changed. Uh, I was more friendly. I was more loving to other people. I was more caring my neighbors, my friends, my seniors. Uh, changed, and also like I, I, my life was changed from my brother and sister. Also, like in my family, my character was different by that time, and then. Uh, and then we be, like I had also a friend in in, uh, in Pakistan. Uh, his name is Alexis. He also told me one time that he can see me in me a very good Christian. And uh, that time also I think like only the Muslims uh, have a good character, not any other religion. But also it's uh, like uh, inspired me. So how he said like that, I also was thinking like oh, it's me Christian also. The good people also in Christians, and finally, like my life, like keep going on. I finished my education after I moved. I actually joined also in politics, and because of my politics situation in Pakistan, I had a problem. Uh, I moved to Dubai. I bring my family also in Dubai, and then on uh, 2012 September, we arrived in Indonesia. Uh, for asylum here, and uh, when I was in uh, an immigration building, uh, living in an immigration building, and uh, one of my friend he gave me also Quran, the holy book, Quran in Urdu translation. Before all my life, I read only Quran in Arabic. So we usually read in Arabic. We also perform uh, pray also in Arabic. So mostly, uh, other than Arabic people. They don't know the meaning what they are reading. So I also read all Quran in my life, but I don't know the meaning what uh, of the Quran. Like I don't know what I'm reading, and when I'm praying, I also don't know what I'm praying. But we know like how to pray in Arabic, so we pray. So when I came in uh, Indonesia, I I started reading Quran in Urdu. From there, uh, I read in like, Quran in Surah Maryam and Surah Imran, Surah Misra. So I take, get some information about Jesus, how Jesus was born in Quran, how Jesus had a, like had so many miracles, and then also Jesus was lifted up in uh, to the God life. And uh, when I learn about Jesus, so it, it's Make, made me that time like feel like uh, Jesus is not a prophet because we always learn in our life like as Isa, like Jesus is a prophet. But when I wrote in Quran in Urdu, so I feel that time he is not, uh, is not a prophet only. He is some like more than a prophet as we read about Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad and other. But he was different like Musa is there, Musa is also story in Quran, but Jesus was totally different because he was born in the Quran also from Holy Spirit and born to Mary and also had a miracle. He gave also life to dead people. He also uh, gave a life to the bird. 
and uh, he also like heals from when he's sick. So that that's all kind of information available in in the Quran. And also he lifted as per Quran, he was lifted uh, to the heaven, and he's still alive. So all these things make me uh, start thinking about Jesus. Like if he's still alive, so he's different from all the prophets. If he's still alive, we also can pray through him. We also can ask if we have anything. So I shared all this story with my wife also at the same time. So I know it's very difficult if anyone, like like Muslim, it's very difficult to accept like Jesus is not a prophet, he's a bull prophet. So like when I told my wife also, I mean, like do you, uh, like like as per Islam, we can marry four women. First, it makes me, because I, I was not angry that time also, um, and uh, now I'm totally like, I'm happy that four marriage is not allowed. So that time also I was not angry, but I don't have any question, I don't have any answer why I'm not angry. But anyway, I spoke with my wife one time, like, uh, like do you know that Allah, I mean God, loves everybody is equal. She said yes, like she, the God loves me, the God loves you, same. She said yes. So then I said, okay, do you follow Allah and do you follow Quran? She said yes. I said, what happened if you don't follow Quran or if you don't follow uh, Allah? So she also said, like, there's no Muslim. We, we are wrong and we are not Muslim. Then I said, okay, do you love me? She said yes. I said, as per, as per Quran and as per like, Islam, I can marry four women. So now uh, I want to take permission from you. Now can I marry another woman? And she was quiet. And I, then I was also worried myself, like why my wife cannot allow me? Actually, I don't want, but I just want to tell my wife this question. Uh, and she was quiet. And I said, now you tell me. If you say yes, this means you follow Quran. And you follow Allah and you are Muslim. But if, you, if your answer is no, then now you need to think where you are standing, what is your situation now. So, she also, and then I told her, no, to my wife, I said, see, now I'll tell you, I think there's not such like poor marriage. I don't think so, like God is, uh, want to give you trouble or put you in trouble or in this condition. And then it may, it, and also Allah make you also like disobedient. So it's not there. I also feel like this. So that all question we have, all this information from the Quran, like Jesus was born by Holy Holy Spirit, and he had a lot of miracles, and he lifted in the air, and now he's in heaven, alive. And also in Hadith, we we have this information that on Qiyamah, like uh, on the Judgment Day, he will come to the world and he will judge all the people. So not the Prophet Muhammad, not any other prophet. The only Jesus, He will come and He will judge all the human, and then they will He will decide that to have to choose the heaven and hell. So all this in, in my mind, I told also everything to my wife, and my wife also agree with me with all this, and then we decided to go to church. But the time we we here we we try to find church, we cannot find English church because we don't know Bahasa, so we have difficulty. We were looking English church in Makassar. So when I was looking, searching, I cannot find. So when one fellow, uh, friend in 2013, we met in July, uh, she gave, uh, gave me a, the number, phone number of one pastor, can I speak English, and you can speak to him like your problem, because I was looking for Bible and I was looking for church in English. So then I, I, call, then I called pastor and I, I informed my interest. So the pastor had also called me for a meeting, and uh, then he invited me to come to a church. But he also mentioned the church is not in English, but will provide you translator. So we joined the church in July 2013, and uh, in, we started our service in July. And now uh, we learned the first uh, Sunday service. Uh, we learned about how to share the shelter, how sh how share the food, how share everything with your neighbor. Like so, so love. So that uh, like make uh, inspired me and my wife also.
And because, as you know, we are a silent seeker here. We also need love. We also need uh, everything. So from their verse in the Bible, when we learn this, we, it inspired us. So we have a, we had interest to continue to come, and then we continue to come in uh, in the church. So we started continue to come there, and we every Sunday we learn every time like more good, more good, more good, more mostly we learn only about love. So on on the uh, in the month of August 10, 2013, we my myself and my wife we went to. Uh, go to for one healing festival. Uh, there was a pastor from Canada who came in that festival, okay. and then he said, "I'll pray, and and then you, like the sick people will heal." But he said, "I am not the person who is healing people. That is the Lord Jesus is going to heal you. Only you need to have faith, and I am praying with the faith. So please, uh, you, you like." Then he mentioned, "Like, okay, who is the?" Have a problem of uh, listening one side. Have a problem of walking one side, and then after that he started praying. And we saw uh, one lady, one young girl. She came uh, on like uh, on the bed, like she cannot walk and she cannot sit. Also, she was there, and then I also saw so many old people uh, came on the wheelchair, and then we see so many people had a hearing problem. So me and my wife, and we were attending this, uh, this ceremony after prayer. Even I have also problem in my eardrum. Like I have a small eardrum, a hole in the eardrum. So when the the pastor start praying, so he mentioned, okay, now I'm praying for people who have problem in ear and all. So I also noticed like something is happening in my ear. So I also like. Like I'm feeling like the doctor is doing something in my ear. Really, I don't know, but I feel really, I feel really something. And it's not only like a second. I feel really little long time. And after that, then he start praying for the people who cannot walk. Walk. So then after pray, this girl like she stand up and she walk, but she cannot walk very strongly. She was walking very weakly, but she started walking. And then uh, next, uh, he asked to stand up who are sitting on the wheelchair. And most of them, they get up. They are very old. Okay, I can also see like the people who are very old. Even we noticed that old people cannot listen properly. When their relatives told them to get, get up, they only understand that time to get up. And they, they really, with the weakness, they stand up. We saw all this miracle that day. We saw like how the Jesus working in our life. That time we decided to baptize, and then we baptized on 26 August in 2013. Me and my wife. But then, okay, now we know Jesus. So in our life, He's our Savior. We accept Him, but we need to know more about Jesus' life. We need to also want to like. We need to be a copy of Jesus' life, Jesus. So, so like the pastor always encourages us to come to church, listen, preaching, listen, read Bible, pray every day. It makes you more strong, more strong, more clear, more clear. It's not that one day we can change who. So that's why we started continue regularly our church. We always pay attention on our preaching, and we notice well, like whole one year we never listen any. Hate matter in in our preaching in in the church from the pastor in the church. We never listen any curse uh, in the in the prayer. We never listen. But in my past, very truly, we in the past every Friday when we go for a prayer, we always listen uh, cursed like when they pray, uh, the Imam pray. So I always say uh, eliminate the the Jewish and. Uh, like the Yehuda Nisara. So Yehuda Nisara is mean Jewish and Christian. And uh, always uh, they said eliminate the Hindu. Like in India, Kashmir have problem. So always they, they curse like that. So, but we never uh, listen the curse in our church. Always church pray for everybody. And also whenever they pray, they pray to those people also who are enemy. They also make them to bright their heart, come Jesus in their life. And change them. So 
this uh, like continue we join church we listen every time we read the bible thoroughly and then we ask my wife, i also share this with my wife like do we learn any wrong thing in the church since we joining the church my wife also said no we always learn about love we always learn about uh, to how to love with our neighbors same uh, my pastor also when we church became christian my pastor teach us first thing when you go your home please pray your neighbor don't see their religion don't see from which country they are you just go listen their problem and ask them can we pray so we started that one so i want to share today with you one thing uh, like before we pray always like for our life for our benefit for our uh, safety for our good thing for our children and uh, because pastor also told me like uh, pray when you pray to lord jesus you expect only the things we need what we need the jesus will help us the lord will help us but what we want is not guarantee like we get everything what we want so we listen that that thing and uh, like also practically we see and we notice what we need we always get whenever we pray we always get So I want to share one uh, one uh, one case. Like we have one neighbor, uh, one of one family. They have a small child, baby, uh, named Fatima. So one day, what happened? She had a problem in hand. Uh, mother actually pulled the baby in the home, and the hand was dislocated, or broke, or dislocated something. She was badly crying, too much crying. Like she cannot stop, and nobody can stop. we all took them took the baby to the hospital and then we informed the doctors he was very cry, too much crying there so we yeah. also that time because we remember our pastor words like you pray with the faith you and also what you need you will get same with the faith i prayed in the hospital for the baby my wife prayed also in the home and when we prayed with the lord jesus about the baby the suddenly baby stopped crying by the time doctor was inspected and doctor also had a doubt maybe this girl had dislocated or fracture maybe so doctor also had a doubt because she was pay, crying too much with the pain and she don't allow anybody to touch the hand that's why the doctor had a doubt maybe she has a little fracture or dislocate so the suddenly when we pray in our heart and my wife was praying in the home the baby the girl stopped crying and she just keep quiet doctors and all we like uh, like uh, wonder also how come the, she was crying too much badly and suddenly she quiet and no more crying but it's still uh, the doctors and the baby for x ray and they, and this they noticed the x ray is clear there is no it's okay there is no fracture so doctor also like surprised how come the baby was crying badly and never allow to touch the hand and we had a doubt but suddenly so they said you can take your girl back home and we bring back home and then i inform my wife my wife inform me about the pray and that was the first pray we pray to the lord jesus with faith and we also had experience that our pray was heard by the jesus so any pray we if we pray with the faith and what we need we always get this is our whole life experience what we need we always i mean accepted by lord jesus so and uh, so now this is 2016 we still uh, continue uh, we go in church and we go we read bible but still we feel we need more and more and more because it's not like uh, enough one or two or three years to become a christian It's, it's a life matter so we should not uh, stop reading bible and we should not stop going church if we stop going church or stop reading bible so the, like shaitan satan is affect in our life so it make again this trouble and that's uh, that's main thing uh, like one is uh, the love to your neighbor it's a very good education we uh, we we also read in the bible in um, matthew uh, chapter 6 and 14 and 15 verse like you 
forgive others who did against, sin against you, so the God will also forgive. This is the best verse when I read, I feel in my life, because we had a problem in my country, we had a problem, and we see the problem in all over the world. So that is, if whole the world, if they read this verse and understand this verse, the problem in the world today is changed. If we forgive others, so God also forgive us. So this is the very good, I mean, it's appeal me, I mean, it's in Miami because of, because of our situation. So uh, that's what, like, how our life is changed, how our character is changed. And now we are living in, uh, in the building uh, where the, all asylum seekers are living. So we have mostly Muslim asylum seekers and refugees living in, with us, among us, I mean, with us. So we don't want to hurt them. We don't want to hurt them by telling them, like, we are converted because conversion in Islam is a very, very big sin. So the straight punishment is to kill. So if we inform straight someone, like we are converted now, we are Christians, so yeah, 100% like somebody want to, they are feeling also hurt and also they want to hurt us. Maybe they injured us or maybe the, the social boycott or anything. And but slowly, mm. some people, they came to know that we are converted. So they boycott, like to say hello to wow. us, to salam to wow. us. Also, they stop sharing yeah. food. So that's make us very uncomfortable and very sorry, very sad. So we always cheer, we always talk with our pastor. And in front pastor, we are facing this problem in our building. The people attitude is like this. But always pastor tell us, no, you need to be same. You need to be good with them. You can see the, their difference. You can see they will change. But don't uh, lose your hope. Don't uh, show your back. You don't go away. Be with them nice. So we keep continuing. My wife, my children, myself, we keep continuing uh, with them the same. Uh, like help them, take care of them. So one day also, I mean, like few weeks and few months after the like change back, they say hello again. Because mostly I can, uh, I want to share with you, like in the, mostly in our building, everybody come to us if they need any help for the medical, any help for any kind of uh, problem in their home, they come to us. Even one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock at night, they knock our door. They never go any other place. They come to us only. So that's make also uh, us happy, that, like see, even though they feel like we are, we are big, bad people, like sinner, but still, when they need something, they knock on our door. They don't knock another. They don't knock any other door. They come to us. And uh, we are right. The problem, like why I cannot go back to my country, the problem is in our country is a Muslim country. It's like uh, Islamic Republic of Pakistan. So we have uh, like. Like we have two rule in Pakistan is Sharia law and also Constitution of Pakistan. The Constitution of Pakistan is like political, but the Sharia is very strict because it's Islamic Sharia law is there. So when there is a case like blasphemy case or any other case, then they switch that case to Sharia. Okay, and uh, one more thing is like uh, if we convert from Islam to another religion, another religion like Hindu, Christian, or any other. So the Nadra, which is the, the Nadra, is a, it comes under Ministry of Interior. The Nadra is register all the citizen data in the, in the, the computer, in the data, like name, date of birth, religion, everything they store in the, in the file. So we get our IDs and passport, everything through that department Nadra. But very bad thing is like if we convert to any other religion and we want to amend our record, we cannot amend. As per the rule, we cannot amend. So, uh, and also second is if any Christian change to Muslim or Hindu change to Muslim, they can change their data. They can change their religion in the record. So problem is this, like if we go for job, or if we want to open our account, like my data in Pakistan as a Islam, like Muslim. So if I go now and if I want to open an account, so when I fill the form and I write I'm Christian, 
so then the data cannot match so they can they reject my application so i cannot open my account even if i want to go for job every form application need to mention about our religion so when we mention the religion is christian and when they check with another so the record is not matching so they can reject same my children also not christian if they go to universities for the university also when they fill the form the religion column is christian when they check in the system with nadra they said no they were muslim and now the christian so they also like reject the admission so this is the first our rights like we cannot get in our country second is blasphemy the people in pakistan uh, they are uh, i mean in, in the pakistan situation is very bad like uh, every, the blasphemy uh, the, i mean the, the people if they want to take any revenge any kind but the blasphemy they take the help of blasphemy and uh, they register the case blasphemy case anybody can register our neighbor also can register anybody can register in the police station and then the police if there somebody registered the case for blasphemy the police will arrest and uh, and uh, bring us in the jail and the court and uh, the anybody who like involved in blasphemy cannot say and also like uh, people also don't want to listen like uh, is true or not true everybody when they listen he has uh, he has said something about prophet muhammad or uh, like quran or allah so uh, like no chance to explain so the we now convert to christianity it means like we are apostate so apostate is also kind of blasphemy because now we are reject prophet muhammad so when we reject prophet muhammad and when we reject islam and we choose christianity so it's also comes under blasphemy so we had a like strong fear like if we go back there is no chance in any part of pakistan that we can be safe first our relatives our sister brother our relatives nobody will accept us if we go back 100% they will not accept us because we are apostate apostate also i mean they cannot give us food also so they will reject us they will say like you are apostate now you know you know so we are not we cannot go to see our friends our relatives like we are totally disconnected with our our uh, country our people our relative our friends so we are really in in trouble uh, in uh, indonesia we are requesting help from unesia to recognize us as a refugee but unfortunately uh, recently i mean unesia rejected us uh, as they said because you are converted in indonesia so we feel that you are not genuine and uh, we really uh, very shocked and we very sad about this like uh, how come i mean if somebody uh, become today uh, except jesus and then not in my country so it's not my fault whereas i already, already mentioned i i saw dream everything i had feeling because i was in muslim environment i was in the muslim relatives so it's not easy to change it's not easy to like accept any new thing but when since we came here and it's also like people cannot do by themselves is jesus he chose me is jesus that he chose me my time the jesus chose me my location to change that's not by my myself so i was we all very i mean my all family um, only like you not know, feel happy the time when the, uh, the unicia means uh, mention like we are not genuine christian because we converted in indonesia we like just feel okay you can reject us with any other reason will accept but when they said we are not genuine it really uh, break our heart but still we have peace we don't have any uh, any anything against anybody feeling we still pray for everybody for unicef also for the unicef officer all the we are there good people but i don't know how they misunderstand or misunderstood and what's their policy we, we don't know but we still request requesting unicef and we are requesting the world please help us please accept us a uh, true christian please because uh, we are genuine christian
So do not break our heart by saying you are not Christian or not here in Christian. So it's really not good. We really feel very sad on that. So we are looking for the help from the world. Today we have a hope from the world to help us and one day we also become hope for the world. 